Amaris, yes, and that number much higher than in years past. One sponsor for the event told me the pandemic has left a lot of families needing help this holiday season. It's the first year the VA hosted the event, but a generous donor and sponsor, J. Denise Cromwell, says her organization has been doing this for nearly two decades. It's in honor and memory of her late uncle. SFC Sam Calder, who was a four-tour Vietnam War veteran. After serving, SFC Calder became homeless, then ended his own life. And in honor of him and to help my family and I heal, I decided, along with my family and tons and tons of uh, friends and family, that we would do what we can to help aid and assist veterans that are in the same situation that he was in. And now, 20 years later, Project Street Outreach, Cromwell's nonprofit, has teamed up with the VA Medical Center. Oh my God, so awesome. Like, I'm just totally out of the ballpark feeling some type of way, simply because we finally um, are able to connect with the VA where we can help people on a larger scale. Each family that pre-registered received a butterball turkey and a box of all the Thanksgiving essentials, and the responses showed true appreciation. This year we're serving um, more, um, and we're not even touching the, the iceberg of you know the people that need the help. Cromwell says she and her team will continue to work to help families in need. For those that were not pre-registered but still hoping for some assistance, separate bags with an assortment of items were set aside for the giveaway as well. In studio, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.